So what I'm going to invite you to do is to um, to <clears throat> sit back, to get into a comfortable position, maybe even turn off the light, and just to be mindful of the mystery of Christ's presence among us, um, the opportunity to be in Christ's presence. I'm actually going to move the computer um, so that we have a nice little view in the sacristy or in this, in, in this chapel here. This chapel is the house chapel of the Redemptors here. And we're just going to, to reflect and to ponder. So I'm going to invite you to focus on the tabernacle, the candle, um, just be aware of God's presence uh, around you, calling you to calm, take a deep breath in, relax. Focus on the stress of the day as you breathe in, relax. Have your hands on your lap, resting on your knees. Make a fist. Feel the clench of the stress of this day. And relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Allow any thoughts to pass through your mind's eye. Be aware of them. Let them go. Be aware of any thoughts. Let them go. Knowing that these thoughts may be dear to your heart in this moment, but acknowledge those thoughts as something to tend to later. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Oftentimes, when we hear readings from the Old Testament, we're mindful of days gone by, situations that are from our past, words from prophets and psalmists of days and prayers gone by. It's in this time of our own desert experience when we are mindful of Christ's presence among us and the love of God for the people of old expressed through the prayers and the words that have been handed on to us in faith. I invite you to listen to Psalm 77. You almost want to think that this psalm has been written for today. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. I cry aloud to God, aloud to God, that he may hear me. 
In the day of my trouble, I seek the Lord. In the night, my hand is stretched out without weary. My soul refuses to be comforted. I think of God and I moan. I meditate and my spirit faints. You keep my eyelids from closing. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I consider the days of old and remember the years of long ago. I commune with my heart in the night. I meditate and search my spirit. Will the Lord spurn forever and never again be favorable? Has his steadfast love ceased forever? Are his promises at an end for all time? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he in anger shut up his compassion? And I say, it is my grief that the right hand of the Most High has changed. I will call to mind the deeds of the Lord. I will remember your wonders of old. I will meditate on all your work and muse on your mighty deeds. Your way, O oh God, is holy. What God is so great as our God? You are the God who works wonders. You have displayed your might among the peoples. With your strong arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. When the waters saw you, O God, when the waters saw you, they were afraid. The very deep trembled. The clouds poured out water. The skies thundered. Your arrows flashed on every side. Your crash of your thunder was in the whirlwind. Your lightnings lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was through the sea, your path through the mighty waters. Yet your footprints were unseen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Deep breath in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Take a moment in silence to allow yourself the opportunity to speak to God, for the opportunity for God to speak to you.
Once again, be aware of your breathing. Breathe in and out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Dear Lord, in the face of sickness, bring healing. In the face of weakness, bring strength. In the face of despair, bring hope. In the face of hunger, bring food. In the face of arrogance, bring humility. In the face of anger, bring wisdom. In the face of blame, bring forgiveness. In the face of aggression, bring patience. In the face of loneliness, bring comfort, comfort. In the face of doubt, bring faith. In the face of confusion, bring truth. In the heart of us all, bring your love. Amen. United in prayer, we join the words that Jesus taught us, praying for our needs, for God's will, praying and remembering those who will not pray this night, for those who don't know how to pray this night, for those whose night is one of fear, that our prayer together bring hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We commend our prayers to our mother of God, our mother of perpetual help, as we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you all. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We continue being mindful of support and prayer with one another in these times. We look forward to meeting back with you all as we gather again for another opportunity to share faith, to share companionship in the Lord and in one another.